Jordan. So last week uh, we talked about uh, cloud media workflows and some of the pros and cons of using purely uh, cloud workflows and how it potentially works for some customers, but uh, maybe not for the others. And uh, as we have noticed over the years, uh, a lot of customers tend to stick to hybrid media workflows. So can you talk a little bit more about why some customers uh, would prefer using uh, hybrid workflows and what it would look like? So it's definitely a pretty common thing to hear people uh, ask about uh, how to streamline their workflow to come back out of the cloud. You know, five years ago, a lot of people were looking at going from on-prem to figure out how they can go all cloud or cloud first or, or all these other decisions that were happening back then. But nowadays people have started to figure out, okay, I understand the costs or I understand that also the cloud is my competitor in certain in some scenarios. Uh, but uh, the cloud does offer a lot of advantages, right? So you have your, the marketplace is fantastic in most of the clouds, especially if you're in uh, AWS. So how do you continue to take advantage of things that you're gonna get in the marketplace, the different AI models, uh, the transcoding that's offered there or the distribution, um, but keep the cost down on your egress, keep the cost down on the amount of uh, storage you're consuming, um, but also own your own your own data, so to speak, so it's not just sitting somewhere else. So that's where the hybrid workflows really come into play. So if we look at this slide that I have that I have here, we're looking at a pretty traditional workflow in terms of you have your you know your on-prem workers, they could be remote, uh, your primary storage, your transcoding. Um, we'll say that uh, this area here that we have for our swarm archive is on-prem for this example. Uh, the part that we have labeled as a DR site, we're going to say maybe this was at Equinix or Core site or any of these other type of co-locations. Um, this could be your cloud out here in, in this area. Traditional, whatever type of cloud you have, it could be Amazon, Microsoft, Google, IBM Cloud, Dove Cloud, either way. So if you're taking advantage of this type of scenario, you have the high-speed access generally for as fast as you can between your on-prem and your co-location. But then your colo to the cloud from here is generally, especially if you're taking advantage of places like Equinox, where they have a good uh, high-speed cross-connect to something like AWS, you're able to at least burst out to the cloud, get certain jobs done, bring some back, streaming, streamline the amount of costs uh, associated with that while continuing to own your own data that's still there. Um, so you get multiple benefits, not only being able to have access to that marketplace at you know, relatively better pricing uh, in terms of speed, access, and the amount of time that you're utilizing those, uh, those services. Uh, we also have the, the high-speed access going back and forth between your place, much better than you would have with the cloud, and it's at least in your control, right? Uh, you can even put tape out here somewhere if you really wanted to, to have it. Uh, you, know, you can even have that sitting at a colo or something if you really wanted to have that deep archive or continue to use a cloud for that. There's a lot of options. Hybrid gives you at least visibility in those type of options versus if you were just all 100% in the cloud or all 100% on-prem, uh, you, you, you're locked in, it, right? So yeah. it's kind of where that uh, boils down. Yeah, no, that, it makes makes perfect sense. Yeah, I, I like the, the word that you use, locked down. You know, whether it's on-prem, you, you, you're you basically limiting yourself to just using the tools that you have on-prem versus same thing in the cloud. You kind of uh, locked at only using the the cloud and, and only their tools and uh, basically having your content managed by somebody else, which which may not be perfect for for every customer. So it, it makes sense. Yeah, this also lends itself really well to, you could you could also have a managed service provider uh, model in here. Um, so, you know, if, if somebody didn't want to actually have to deal with the hardware uh, that is associated with uh, co-location, there's tons of managed service providers that take that uh, take that out of your hands and, and offer that uh, cloud-like experience, but on-prem more model for data governance and what have you. So. Right, right, right. No, that's... Uh... That's great. That's great. A lot of uh, a lot of really uh, useful information, and uh, I'm sure a lot of our customers using exactly those models right now.